Now for something completely different. <laughs> Hate math said, nothing great about this. Hate math said, us too. And yet we build the world's mathematics software, Mathematica, Wolfram Alpha, and Wolfram. So I want to talk about what's happened here. Um, and by the way, so many other people hate math. Employers can't get enough hires. Governments are panicked. Teachers boring to teach. Students despised, important, irrelevant. And yet real world math is more revered than ever. It's used across the world for more things. So why is this? Well, I'll tell you. We're teaching 80% the wrong subject. Most of school maths around the world is the wrong subject and it's taught in the wrong way because of that. Not because teachers are bad, but because we've got the wrong thing that we're doing. Why is it wrong? No computers for calculating. In real world math, computers do almost all the calculating. In educational math, people do almost all the calculating. That's your 80%. And does everyone need to learn the subject anyway? Or is this just, we should throw it out altogether? A bit like classics, ancient Greek. <laughs> well, I'm going to argue we do need it, and there are three really good reasons. Technical jobs, powering all of you guys and around the world, just learning how to live every day, and how to train your mind to make better decisions. It's, the trick is better decisions for life, work, and society. But are we delivering these now? Are we achieving data literacy? Can you really think through stuff logically? I don't know. Uh, economic results. Are we really developing this computational thinking and this computational literacy in the education we have? I think the answer is no. Now, math is a four-step process. You define the problem, you abstract it, you compute it, and you interpret it. In education, what we're doing is making our kids hand calculate step three, the ones that computers do better than anyone, and drowning out these other three steps. What we need is first-rate human problem solvers, not third-rate human computers. We need to work a level up from the machines, not compete with what they do best. When did you last solve a quadratic equation? You all learned how to do it, never used it. The other thing we need to do is fix motivation. Math seems very abstract, but it's deployed for driving the world forward. We need to start with the real life or messy, hard problems in all subjects and then figure out why the abstraction helps us solve that. Well, that's what we've been doing. We've been building a core computational curriculum that assumes computers exist. Revolutionary. You wouldn't think so, but it is. That's computer-based math and computationalthinking.org. And we've built modules and projects, so ready to fix up your countries or your organization setup. Real-world problems. You know, what's the perfect password to stop my mates logging in? Am I normal? Can math help me with that? Um, <laughs> How do I design controls for my game? You know, uh, how many levels of, uh, of people am I separated from from Facebook? Real world concepts we should be having in school, machine learning in primary schools, calculus for 10 year olds, big data for big schools, and computationally confident results and adults. Uh, computational literacy for all. Now think about this, mass literacy came in in the early 1900s or started then. The most empowering thing in education what we need now is mass computational literacy, but we're not getting it. We're not getting it anywhere in the world. So what we need to do is crush the computational divide in your country and organization. And uh, I wrote a book about this, The Maths Fix. We'll have some copies around. Take a look at that. Join our campaign and come to our discussion tomorrow. Uh, it's uh, going to be about how we fucked up maths education for our children, and we need to change it. Yeah.